Hey what's up YouTube, this is David. Today I will be making a video on how to play Game Boy Advance games on your hacked PSP. Now I'm sure most of you who have a hacked PSP already have this, but just in case you don't, here's a nice simple video. You want to start off by downloading three files. You want the emulator itself, the BIOS, and whatever game you want. Now I'll post a link to the emulator and the BIOS, but I won't post a link to the to where you can get games because um you know copyright or whatever um but just google it it's not hard I, I swear they should be in zipped folders and inside it should contain the raw rom itself which should be a gba file so for this demonstration i got pokemon emerald because that's what most people are going to want to get this for i assume um so yeah so go ahead and plug in your psp once you download it those three components and open folder to view files. Now you want to go inside PSP game and open up gpsp.rar. Drag and drop gpsp into the game folder. If you can't open up um, the folder or gpsp and it doesn't look like mine, try installing WinRAR. Go inside gpsp and drag the GBA BIOS um, dot bin right there so once you have that copied right there go inside GBA ROM and here's where you will put all your games that you download um, you can either drag the entire zipped file in there or you can extract it and drag the file in there the difference is um, like if you're low on space drag the whole thing in there because as you see here properties the um the zipped file is 6.6 .6 megabytes but if you were to extract it and the uncompressed file is 16 so it's like a lot more memory um the only difference you will notice when actually playing the game is that this takes a little bit longer to load when you're first loading and this is loads a lot not a lot but it loads faster and it takes up more memory on your memory card so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that in because to me it doesn't matter I have a 32 gig memory card you know okay so disconnect your PSP from the computer mm -hmm. go over to your games and you should see it right there unofficial GPSP Kai go ahead and start that up okay so once it boots up that should happen and you should see all your games there I only put Pokemon Emerald here for demonstration purposes to start up a game right there on the bottom you see it says press X to return um that is not true press X to start up a game as you see there it says loading ROM or you didn't see it but it, it said that trust me so here are the games and there you go press the home button to go back to the menu and here you can mess around with the graphics and there you got save states and load states like when you try to press something right here save state it says yes um let me see if yes circle no x is actually the, the other way around so x is yes and no is circle just so you know and you can also change the controllers you can use cheats which I just prefer to you do it on the computer because it's easier to get the cheats on there and um, also you can change your game to a widescreen Hold on. 16 by 9 there we go wait there we go so see the game is in widescreen um, I'll try to cut out as much of this video as I can because it's kind of long but yeah just to show you that it works Come on. circles A I like to have my A is X and my B is square so I usually change it so yeah there you go and you just save the game like you would normally and you can also use the save states so yeah that was it thank you for watching please like comment subscribe